G'day guys, Kalen here from Red Arc Electronics. Today I'm going to run you through the installation of the new BCDC Core 25 with a lithium battery and the recommended 40 amp fuse kit onto a battery box. The first thing you want to do is roughly mark out where everything's going to sit on the battery box ensuring that nothing's going to obstruct on the battery. In this case, we've got a couple of accessory sockets, a USB socket, and a solar input Anderson connector. First thing you want to do is roughly place everything where you think it might end up on the battery box. Then, as you can see here, I've marked the two accessory sockets, USB socket, and Anderson input for the solar panel. Once you've got the BCDC's position finalized, go ahead and mark all the spots so you can drill it out and then mount it after you're done. Now that the hard part's done, cutting out and drilling those bigger holes, we're going to mount the BCDC using four M6 bolts. Now that we've gone ahead and mounted the BCDC, I'm just going to run you through the wires on the back of it, exactly where they're going and what they do. Now I've got a couple of steps ahead here and gone ahead and mounted the MIDI fuse holder for the output fuse and also the Anderson plug which will be used as the vehicle input. So this brown wire here is your auxiliary battery output that's going to run straight into this fuse and then I'll duck it inside the box and terminate it at the battery. The red wire here is the one that's going to be for the vehicle input. So that'll run around on the inside as well and terminate it into this Anderson plug for the vehicle input. The black wire here is your ground. So that can just run straight to your battery negative inside the box as well. Yellow wire is your solar input. So the Anderson plug that we put on the front of the box, that's going to be our solar input. This will run to the positive of that Anderson. Lastly, you've just got the three small wires here. So the blue wire depends on if your vehicle has a smart alternator or not. If it does, you'll have to obviously find out from your manufacturer if you're not sure, but this one will connect to a vehicle ignition switched positive trigger. That'll enable the BCDC to run even when the alternator's output voltage is a little bit lower. The green wire is for an optional external LED. Uh, just to let you know if the BCDC is charging or not, and if there's a fault code, it will flash along with the BCDC LEDs on the front. Not everybody does this, uh, and as I said, it is optional. The orange wire is your charge profile selection wire. Now, this will either be left disconnected, connected to a ground, or connected to the positive. Now, that varies depending on what voltage output you need from the BCDC which is laid out in the user manual for you. Now, in this case, we actually have to join the orange and green wires together because we're charging a lithium battery. I'll do that inside the box so it's kept out of the way from any short circuits or anything like that. So now that you know what each of these wires do, I'll go ahead and terminate them and run them through to the Anderson plugs and to the battery terminal. Now, one quick thing to note is the battery negative from the BCDC is going straight to the battery. Now, your solar Anderson and your vehicle Anderson also need to have a common ground with the BCDC and battery. So in this case, what I'm going to do is just run the negative from each of these Andersons straight back to the negative terminal of the battery as well. Like I mentioned earlier, I will be joining the orange and green wires inside the box here uh, as we're charging a lithium battery. And for the particular vehicle that this box is going into, which is a Hilux, the blue wire is not required. So I'm just gonna chop this one off and use some heat shrink or some tape to isolate it so it can not short with anything else. So now that I've terminated the Anderson plug on the underside for the solar wire, I'll just put that into there. You should see the Anderson lead click in and give it a little bit of a tug just to make sure it's secure. The vehicle input wire has also been terminated, ready to put into this Anderson plug on the rear of the box that we put in before. Now that everything's terminated, we're ready to throw in the 100 amp hour lithium battery. 
and throw the top on. Now that everything is terminated and we've got the box closed, you should see that the BCDC profile light, in this case lithium, should be flashing. This indicates that the BCDC is in standby and ready for a connection to your vehicle or an unregulated solar panel. In the back of this vehicle, it's been pre-wired with an Anderson plug with suitably rated cable. So we just plug that into the vehicle input at the back of the box that we installed earlier and we're good to go. So now we're going to start the vehicle and you should see that the lithium profile light and the vehicle status light come on solid to indicate that it is charging. For more technical information and resources, visit the Red Arc website or call our technical support line.